predatory worms found on every continent except Antarctica, these foul freeloaders aren't all that bad once you get to know them. Some people even call them pets, while other hospital patients call for their aid. Here are 10 fascinating facts about the leech we love to hate. They're everywhere. Usually, the lecherous leech prefers the likes of marshes, rivers and ponds. One fifth of the leech population inhabit the sea, while another demographic delight in the vegetation of thick forests. If leaves permit enough moisture, however, this pesky population will dwell on land too. Just in case you think you're leech-free by avoiding marshes and swamps, think again. They'll either snag an unlucky host as they happen by, or actively pursue their prey by working their way toward anything that activates the sensors on their skin. Some unfortunate hikers have even reported leeches aggressive enough to burrow through their socks. Leeches have been known to get around the globe inhabiting every continent except for Antarctica. Some accounts swear that these wormy suckers have shown up in Arctic waters too. They're so worldly. In fact, people have been coexisting with this shameless species for so long that just about every language has its own word for leech. 9. They get pretty big. From tiny to terrifying, these earthworm cousins can grow to unsettling proportions. The giant Amazon leech, for example, can get up to 18 inches in length and live to an astonishing 20 years old. Like all of the Haematophagus species, one in particular, called H. giliani, will stick its six inch long proboscis into a host, drink for almost an hour, if gone unnoticed, and then fall off. Full satisfied. Evidently, scientists swore of the extinction of this specific species until an eccentric zoologist in the 1970s found two specimens, which he named Grandma Moses, and no one could be sure why. 8. They're tender. You might not assume that a glorified blood heathen may do much for parenting, but some species of leeches are known to be quite the doting mother to their young. Leech mothers will routinely hover over their egg cocoons to constantly keep predators at bay. Once they've entered the world, baby leeches will glue themselves to mama's belly and tag along while she engages in her daily to-dos. If they especially behave themselves, mum will even hunt down some tiny worms to keep the premature parasites happy. Some even carry the next generation of wiggly worms in a specialised pouch, reminiscent of a cute baby koala attached to its mother. 7. They don't all suck. With 700 known species and an indeterminate number left undiscovered, the leech is a predatory worm with a long, soft body reminiscent of an earthworm that can lengthen and contract. Leeches will suction themselves to the supple skin as they've developed a keen taste for blood, while becoming quite good at stealing it. A leech has a sucker on both ends, one for leverage and the other equipped with a muscular jaw and three razor-sharp teeth to saw through the skin. Once there, the pesky parasite inserts a chemical into the wound to thin the blood. This prevents the blood from clotting while the sneaky sucker gets its fix. Though they don't all suck, blood that is. Luckily, hematophagus, which means to feed on blood, comprises of only one type of leech species. While the majority do prefer the vital life liquid, it all depends on location. For example, there are most likely more freshwater leeches in North America that don't feast off blood than there are blood feasters. Among the Haematophagus species even, there are not too many interested in the human elixir of life. While leeches will certainly rejoice in the opportunity, if given a chance, it's generally not what they're after. Considering leeches are most known for their tendency to latch onto larger mammals and suck their blood, there is actually a large level of diversity depending on the species. Instead, many members leech onto insects, snails or other invertebrates, inserting a feeler-like tube and sucking its victim dry, much like that of a spider. Others eat their victims whole, just as like frogs, turtles and sharks do. The variety that does enjoy blood, as a tasty pastime, comes equipped with either two-jaw or three-jaw variations. The former gnaws into the host's flesh and leaves a V-shaped bite almost as if to relinquish their imprint in a cordial thanks for having me fashion. The three-jawed species surrenders a mark resembling that of the Mercedes-Benz symbol, a far classier signature 
for this sophisticated multi-jawed specimen. 6. They make great pets. Leeches make excellent pets. For anyone willing to have a blood-sucking worm living under their roof, Yet their perks are well worth the investment, as these little guys can survive for several months without food, require very minimal care, save for a swampy scoop of water in a smallish sized tank, and provide unique decor to the dullest of homes. Such like any domestic animal, you have to know how and when to feed them, otherwise they will most definitely take to stealing your own vital resources. Some leech enthusiasts love the attention and therapy as their main motive for having the parasite as a pet. Risk takers remove the critters out of their tanks, just so owner and organism can share in a lovely session of fluid exchange. The message for anyone looking to have a leech as a member of the family? Handle them with care, or the two of you will become closer than you think. 5. Amy Tan has her own species When world-renowned author Amy Tan included land-based leeches in her 2005 novel Saving Fish from Drowning, Leech researchers quickly took an interest in the writer. As there aren't many works of fiction which feature terrestrial leeches, and many who misunderstand the life of a leech, a team of scientists had an idea. Upon their next discovery, the group vowed to name the next identified species in Tan's honor. The author loved it. I am thrilled to be immortalized as Ktonobdella Tane. She read in a press statement, I am now planning my trip to Queensland, Australia, where I hope to take leisurely walks through the jungle, accompanied by a dozen or so of my namesake feeding on my ankles. 4. They're medicinal Leeches as medical helpers date all the way back to ancient Egypt. In a practice known as bloodletting, the aim is to remove bad blood in the body to cure or prevent ailments and diseases. Old traditions paid homage to hirudotherapy, the use of leeches in medical therapy to aid the sick in everything from smallpox to scurvy. In 1831, the Manchester Royal Infirmary famously used 50,000 leeches to treat their ailing patients. Leech bites stimulate circulation, and along with anaesthetics, leeches inject an anticoagulating chemical when they feed. Through the prevention of blood clots, leech therapy is conducive in reattaching amputated limbs and fingers. So, while the unorthodox parasite may have fallen out of popularity with modern medicine, they are still widely sought after today. The most widely sought after species used in a number of different medical procedures is Harutu medicinalis, better known as medical leech. Surgeons keep these guys on hand in the operating room for use as mini vacuums to soak up some of the gore, in addition to keeping blood clots at bay. Even their saliva is useful. Pharmaceutical drugs treating hypertension, varicose veins, hemorrhoids, and arthritis have all been manufactured from the spit of a leech. While emergency room correspondent sounds like a perfectly sensible use for the species, critics find other practices unrealistic. The naturopathic application, a form of folk medicine versus evidence-based medicine, has millions of Indians every year forego traditional modes of medicine to seek out the help of natural healers, as well as their worm-like counterparts. As part of an ancient system of medicine called Ayurveda, this holistic experience includes everything from oils, massages, improved dietary habits, and, you guessed it, parasites. So, what could possibly motivate a patient to willingly stand in as the savoury snack to a blood-hungry leech? Results are one as the ancient system is supported by centuries of ailments that have been cured due to this natural removal of toxic blood from the body. One incredibly popular condition used in Ayurveda includes psoriasis, as many patients experience changes in their condition that they have never managed through traditional practice before. Bad blood is bad blood, however, and the toxic fluid can be just as harmful to the little leech as it can a full-grown adult. The solution? Doctors douse the slimy siphons in turmeric, a method which causes the leech to vomit the bad blood before it's digested. What's more, these amazing miracle workers are sought after on the black market as well. In 2018, a beagle sniffed out 5,000 live leeches in a suitcase as they were being smuggled across the Canadian border from Russia. The seized specimens consisted of two species, the southern medicinal leech and the European medicinal leech preferred for use in hospitals, plastic surgery centers, and burn units around the world. The culprit insisted that the writhing worms were for his own personal use, and that their waste would enrich his home garden of orchids. Yet authorities weren't buying it, 
Apparently, leeches are an underground hot commodity. They can sell for around $10 each and appeal to those recovering from plastic surgery or those suffering from frostbite. 3. They can predict the weather. In 1850, an inventor by the name of Dr. George Merriweather found himself intrigued when changes in barometric pressure encouraged freshwater leeches to become agitated. As anyone would think to do, the doctor plucked 12 of the slimy suspects into individual glass tubes and rung each with a bell. The contraption was called the Atmospheric Electromagnetic Telegraph Conducted by Animal Instinct, though the device is remembered today as the Leech Barometer. Merriweather discovered a career in meteorology for these handy creatures as a series of tests revealed the leeches to be very accurate in predicting incoming storms. The more the bells rang, the stronger the thunderstorm. I'll take the leech weather reporter over a human announcer any day. 2. They've been known to stop an army. In 1799, the men in Napoleon's militia began acting strangely. Suddenly, there was a host of unidentifiable symptoms infiltrating the army, from coughing up bloody mucus to frequent vomiting and a painful stinging all over their bodies. Eventually, the swelling, hemorrhaging, and emaciation eventually gave way to an ugly, untimely death. The army's chief surgeon was baffled by the events at hand, until suddenly he began spotting strange, darkly coloured growths in the men's throats and nostrils. What was more disturbing, these growths wiggled when poked. As leeches begin their lecherous lives as teeny tiny worms, they can easily disappear into a cup of river water and drank unnoticed. In the instance a human was infiltrated by the intruder, they wouldn't notice anything amiss until the wiggly parasite began to grow to a substantial size. In this case, a harrowing chain of events would ensure such as suffocation, severe blood loss, and finally, death. Leech horror stories aren't only a thing of history. In recent news, a Scottish woman discovered a three-inch leech living inside her nose. According to the damsel in distress, the nosy offender would remain inside her nostril and rear its ugly head only when she entered the shower. The woman could be called fortunate that the meticulous moocher didn't make its way into her brain. But then again, having a leech inside your nose doesn't really denote good fortune. 1. There are more out there Despite sharing nearly every continent with these blood-sucking creatures, there is still more to learn about them. Researchers are only aware of the 700 species found to date. According to science, there are a lot more out there. Based on the holistic abilities of one class so far, who knows what talents and abilities the other varieties possess? The next time you find one of these thirsty thieves stuck to your body, don't destroy it. Scientists foresee a high probability that the next find could lead to an identified species. And all one must do is observe the colour patterns to determine whether the classification is newsworthy. The next time you unwittingly donate a little blood, it could be the next scientific breakthrough. Have you ever encountered a leech before? If so, share your story in the comments section below. We may even feature it in an upcoming release. Thanks for watching, and remember to subscribe to What Lurks Below.